Hello friends, today we will learn about normal microbial flora of human body. The term normal microbial flora refers to microbial population that inhabit internal and external surfaces of healthy normal humans and animals. Now we will discuss about the role of normal microbial flora or its functions. There are many functions. First one, microbial flora of intestine synthesizes B complex vitamins and vitamin K which may be absorbed supplying some nutritional needs of host. Second function, it prevents or interferes with colonization or invasion of body by pathogens through bacterial interference. Third function, it produces antibiotic-like substances called bacteriocins, example colicins, pyosins, etc., which may kill or inhibit the growth of pathogens. Fourth function, raises the overall immune status of host against pathogens having related or shared antigens. Normal flora may liberate endotoxin which may activate alternate complement pathway and help defense mechanism of the body. Now we will learn about the examples or the bacteria present in the normal flora in different parts of the body. First, the normal resident flora of skin. These are the bacteria which present on these things. First one, Staphylococcus epidermidis, Staphylococcus aureus, diphtheroids, Candida species and Propionibacterium acnes. Now the second one, the normal flora of eye. They are Staphylococcus epidermidis, Staphylococcus aureus, diphtheroids, Neisseria species, Haemophilus para influenza. Now, normal flora of mouth and upper tract respiratory. These are Staphylococcus aureus and Staph epidermidis, Streptococcus viridens and Streptococcus pneumonia. Both are alpha hemolytic organisms. Diphtheroids, Corinibacterium species, and Neisseria. Now, the normal flora present in teeth and gingival crevices. They are Lactobacillus species, Fusobacterium species, Bacterioids, Alpha hemolytic Streptococcus species like Streptococcus sanguis and Streptococcus mutax, and Actinomyces. Now, the normal flora of nose, nasopharynx, and accessory sinuses. They are Corinibacterium species, Staphylococcus aureus, and Staph. Epidermidis. Now, the normal flora of small intestine. They are Enterococci and Lactobacillus species, Corinibacterium species, Diphtheroids, and Candida species. Now, the normal flora of large intestine. It consists of E. coli, Proteus, Klebsiella species. Bacteroids, Lactobacillus, Clostridium species, Protozoans like Entamoeba histolytica, Trichomonas hominis. Now, the normal flora of urogenital tract, mainly these organisms are present. They are Staph epidermidis, non hemolytic Streptococci, Diphtheroids. Now, the normal flora of vagina, they are. Lactobacillus, Strepto Staph epidermidis, Clostridium species, Neisseria species, and Streptococcus agalactia. Now, these we can see that 
the organism like staph epidermis these staph epidermis is present almost in all majority of the microbial flora and we can see that species like neisseria are present on normal flora of eye upper respiratory tract and normal flora of vagina and we can see the lactobacillus species are present in the teeth and gingival crevices and also in the intestinal flora so i hope it's very clear about the microbial flora of human body and the bacteria present in each part in each separate part of microbial flora i okay so thank you please subscribe and share